In this video, I want to talk about how to connect SQL Developer to an Oracle database. So SQL Developer is a development tool that you can use to connect to the to an Oracle database. You can actually connect it to MySQL as well as SQL Server. Um, and it's very much like SQL Server Management Studio in the fact that you can write text-based queries. Um, it's the SQL Plus, SQL Plus is kind of a, a can thing that comes with Oracle, and it's just it's terrible. I mean, you can, it's very hard to write queries, and it's very command line um, oriented. And uh, with this, you can write queries and write you know write procedures or whatever you need in here. And um, it's very much a development environment. So first, you want to go to Oracle dot com and download SQL Developer. After you download it, um, you will get a zip file, and um, in that zip file, you basically will get SQL Developer. So I'm going to go to um, where I downloaded it, um, and so there's really no installation. It's pretty much just unzipping that that zip file that you download, and then you just click on SQL Developer and you're going to run that and so now this opens up Oracle SQL Developer so I know you may get an error here um, if you don't have the uh, JR, the JRE, the Java runtime environment installed um, then you will get an error so if you do get an error um, something like that you want to make sure that you download the latest JRE Java runtime environment um, okay, so now we want to make a connection to an Oracle database. So I'm going to right-click Connections. We're going to give it a connection name. And we're going to call this Oracle. We're going to give it a username of system. Um, and so this is your username and password that is associated with your Oracle database. So I gotta look up my password here and I'm gonna save my password. And then so my host name. So if you have it installed on the on your local machine then you could use local host but if you have it on a remote machine you want to put in the IP address And then if you want to um, you want to make sure that you put in the correct port number if it's not already there and that's 1521 which is the standard port for Oracle um, and here I'm just using my SID uh, which is in the Windows service name um, if you have a name um, that you've established in your um, TNS.ora file if you have a service name you could put that in there as well so let's just test this and invalid username or password so I probably didn't paste that in correctly so let me um, let's type this password in here better okay so now let's test that Okay, success. So um, that's how you connect to an Oracle database um, from your. Um, so now I'm going to click, click connect from um, SQL Developer. And then, so now let's go ahead and write a quick little query. We're going to expand our Oracle database and let's see if we can find a table that has some data in it.
Okay, so um, now we're connected to the Oracle database. We did a simple select statement and we connected, we did a select statement and we showed our connectivity.